What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to go through my Royal Rumble 2018 predictions. And this is pretty sentimental to me guys because just a year ago on the 2017 Royal Rumble, that was the very first video I ever posted on my channel. The date of the 2018 Royal Rumble is January 28th and that is the very first time I posted a video and it come to know it was the 2017 Royal Rumble predictions. So I wanted to give a shout out to you guys. Thank you so much to all of the followers and subscribers of My Damn Toys. You guys have made this channel so epic and have just gave me so many great memories and just amazing time. And I love you guys so very much. You guys are all the best. And I, here's to a great 2018, guys. If you want to go watch that 2017 predictions video, go watch it. It's absolutely awful. Um, my voice is just horrible. I'm just not very outspoken on there. But um, you guys have totally helped me throughout 2017. And here we are now. But very excited for this pay-per-view on Sunday. I love the Royal Rumble. It is my favorite pay-per-view of the year. I love Royal Rumble, and then next is Money in the Bank. I love that opportunity factor that, you know, somebody's going to get a big chance, and that's just all. It, like, feels like a big sporting event to me, and you know how I am about sports. I'm a huge um, athlete. I love to um, play sports and stuff like that, and I don't know. I just always love that factor. Um, not really looking forward to anything else on the card besides the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match, but, you know, we will uh, get into all that, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first up, we have the two out of three falls match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships between the champion Usos taking on Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. I love both of these tag teams so much. I think they're going to tear the house down. We've seen this match before, but I don't think they've given us their all. The chemistry between Chad Gable and Uso last night were very, very nice. I think that they really did well. I know it wasn't the greatest match, obviously, but you can tell that they are going to tear the house down in this match. They have all the time in the world, and I think this is going to be probably match of the night outside of the Royal Rumble itself. And I'm going to go with Gable and Shelton Benjamin picking up the win, and a very intense matchup. They'll probably go 30 to 40 minutes, and this thing's going to be a hard-hitting son of a gun. Up next, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship match between champions Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins taking on Cesaro and Sheamus The Bar, as they are also known as. But I think this match is going to be pretty freaking epic, just like the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championship match. We know what we can get with Seth Rollins taking on The Bar, you know, with his former matches with Dean Ambrose. So, Jason Jordan's a great in-ring performer. All the stuff he did in NXT with Chad Gable was amazing. And, you know, as long as he's not saying words, he can tear the house down as well. So, I think this match has the makings, just like the other match, to do just as dang good. And I think they're going to tear the house down here. And I'm going to go with The Bar picking up the win here. I think they're going to take the tag titles off of Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. So, I'm going with a double... Um, championship change here. Both tag team matches will have new champions crowned, and I think this will lead to a Seth Jason Jordan feud in the future for WrestleMania. Hopefully, I'm wrong on that, but that is my prediction. Up next, we have the handicap match for the WWE Championship between the phenomenal AJ Styles taking on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, or Cammy, as AJ Styles would say. Still hate that little nickname he gave them. However, I think this will be pretty good. You know, AJ Styles is the best in the world, and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are two of the best in-ring performers in the entire world as well. And I think this one's going to have a shaky finish. The way this feud's been going, I think that maybe Sami's going to go for the pin maybe one time, and Kevin's going to kick it out. Then maybe Kevin's going to go for the pinfall, and then Sami's going to kick it out. And I think that there's no way in hell that Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon do not get involved in this match somehow. That is my prediction for that. I definitely do think that those two men will get involved. And I think that AJ Styles will be retaining the championship here. Sorry, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. You will not become the first ever co-WWE champions. Up next, we have this epic triple threat match for the Universal Championship between champion Brock Lesnar... Braun Strowman and Kane, and unfortunately, this is not 2K18, so we will not be getting that version of Kane. That would be absolutely incredible to see, but we are getting the, you know, 50-year-old, just slumped over, out of shape Kane that I am just not looking forward to. He is obviously in this match to take the pinfall, and I honestly, if... I mean, I love the ending of Raw this past Monday, but I do not know if this match is going to be any good. I'm very afraid that this is going to be a very big flop. I do not know why we're getting Kane at all. 
Um, a huge disappointment. Like, why is he even in the main event of any pay-per-view or any big match, for that matter, at this point in his career? But I love Kane. The Hall of Famer all the way. Love Kane growing up. Watched him my entire life. Absolutely love Kane, but this is not a match for him. Uh, I think this is going to be a hard hitter. Hopefully, it's like WrestleMania 33, Brock and Goldberg with another person added. Braun versus Brock the first time was not very good, in my opinion, but maybe they can make up for it here. I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar retaining, obviously. You know, they got to set up Roman Reigns to take the title off at WrestleMania. They've came this far. They're not going to ditch it now, and that is my opinion. Up next, we have the first ever women's Royal Rumble match. 30 women in this thing competing for a freaking women's championship match at WrestleMania 34. And there is only one way this thing should go. Asuka right here, the woman in the middle. This is what this Royal Rumble is all about. Make her enter at number one and just start picking them off. Just picking them off. Just pick them off. Picking them off. Picking them off. Only woman left standing in the ring with ease and just buries them all. And then at WrestleMania, she claims her prize that is rightfully hers. And I don't know when she loses. She should just go on a dominant reign for like, oh my God, probably another year until somebody worthy enough comes out. Um, I hope we don't see Ronda Rousey. I hate celebrities in my wrestling. Maybe she'll, you know, maybe the training at the Performance Center will, you know, get her enough training to where she'll be worth a dang. But I didn't even like her in UFC, so I'm not sure how I feel about her coming to WWE. I definitely don't like it that much, but... I hope we see some legends, you know, I hope we get to see Lita in there, that would be awesome, or Trish Stratus, uh, miss, mixing it up with some of the newer talent, that would be pretty cool. Um, if Asuka doesn't win it, that would be an absolute travesty, and if she doesn't win it and I have to pick somebody else, I would pick Becky Lynch, I love Becky Lynch, um, probably my favorite woman outside of Alexa Bliss, so hopefully Becky Lynch picks up the win if Asuka can't, but I'm definitely going Asuka here, and it will be very cool to see um, what legends come back for this thing. There's a lot of room for legends to return in this thing. And um, another point I want to make is last night on SmackDown Live, the women that were throwing the other women over the top rope looked awful, and it did not look natural, and I don't know what to expect. I, that part kind of scares me about this match to see how that's going to go, but good luck to the ladies, and let's see who wins this thing. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have the main event, the biggest match, the entire uh, pay-per-view, what it is all about here. And before we get started, I want to name off all of the confirmed entries for this Royal Rumble. We have Aiden English, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, or Trash Corbin, Bray Wyatt, Matt Hardy, John Cena, Finn Balor, Randy Orton, Rusev, Shinsuke Nakamura, Titus O'Neil, Elias Sampson, The Miz, Ty Dillinger, Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston, and that's around 17 participants confirmed. And you know you have to throw in like Mojo Rawley, you have to throw in probably Zack Ryder, you have to throw in um, probably a couple cruiserweights, Jinder Mahal, and um, Gold Dust. I'm sure will make an appearance as well. So you gotta like, there's not gonna be that many uh, surprise entrants. I don't think. I would say like maybe three to five at the most for surprise entrants. But before we get into who I think is going to win, I want to go through who I think could possibly be a surprise entry in this Royal Rumble. They haven't really done a lot of building to this Royal Rumble. It's mostly been about Raw 25 and just the championship matches, so I don't really know what to expect from it. But um, I'm going to take you who I through who I think is going to be a surprise entry, and then I'll tell you who I think the winners are going to be. All right, guys, getting into those that I think could be surprise entries, starting out with the far left, I could totally see them bringing back the Boogeyman. You know, he was just on Raw 25, so I could see them bringing back like him or Santino for some funny gimmick type deal. No way, Jose, I would love for finally to make his debut on the main roster. He has been working his butt off in NXT, and he totally deserves it. Love No Way, Jose. Wish he would get on there. That could also represent any other NXT talent that could be called up. You know they probably will throw in one or two at least. Jeff Hardy, I think he's finally healed from his shoulder injury. I'm not completely sure. But if he is healed, I, there's no doubt that he will be thrown into the Royal Rumble to get that, you know, that pop in there. Neville, obviously, is a huge one. I want to see Neville back in WWE very, very badly. So if he came back, I would literally lose myself. So... Um, hopefully Neville comes back in this thing. I would not, um, I'm not expecting it, but it could definitely happen. Batista is another big name that we could see thrown into the Royal Rumble. You know, the rumors have been circulating a ton. So definitely look out for Dave in that sense right there. MVP was also just on Raw 25, so it would not surprise me if he made a surprise entry. Um, in his throwback gear, you know, he has like gray hair now, but I think he could still throw down. Um, and the last one is Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is the GM of Raw, 
and um, I could see maybe Jason Jordan getting hurt in the tag team match earlier in the night, and then him coming to his son's aid to, you know, replace himself in the Royal Rumble. That would not surprise me at all. And then the two biggest surprise entries that I think could happen, the first one is Daniel Bryan. You know, the rumors have been circulating around that he could possibly win this thing, and that's absolutely insane to me. If Daniel Bryan returns to the ring, you, I can just imagine the freaking pop when Daniel Bryan makes his entries, entrance into the Royal Rumble, if that happens. And if he does come out, man, I, I don't care. Let him win. I don't give a crap. So whatever. That would be amazing to see Daniel Bryan back in the WWE, able to wrestle again. And then my final surprise entrant is Dolph Ziggler. You know, he walked out of SmackDown Live with the United States Championship in the middle of the ring, laid it down and just walked out said you don't deserve me and you know as you guys know he's one of my favorite wrestlers so for him to um, come back and win this thing would be absolutely incredible and that is it for my surprise entries I want to know what your guys are so make sure to leave those in the comment section below alright guys getting into who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble I'm gonna go ahead and make a bold prediction right now that one of these six men you are looking at right now will be walking out the winner of the Royal Rumble. It is pretty much fair to say. I'm going to give you the rundown on all these men and who or why I think they could win it, but also I'm going to then narrow it down to the three that I'd like to win it, and then I'm going to give you my bold predicted winner for the Royal Rumble. So first up on the left, Finn Balor. Obviously, everybody wants him to get his Universal Championship back, so the first step to that would be him winning the Royal Rumble, but then not challenging Brock Lesnar. Instead, challenging AJ Styles, flipping to SmackDown, and then you have your Roman-Brock match still, so that doesn't affect any plans there. Um, I love Finn Balor, and I think he totally deserves that. This will also be his first Royal Rumble match ever. You have John Cena. Obviously, people think that uh, he's going to get his 17th at WrestleMania, and that would be cool. You know how... I think he's the GOAT, favorite wrestler of all time, so I'm all cool with that. But I don't want it really to take away from the Rumble, so maybe not go with that. Um, Daniel Bryan, obviously the odds for him to w uh, win has went up like to 10 to 1 odds. And um, that's pretty ridiculous considering he's not even cleared or been announced for the Royal Rumble. Dolph Ziggler, um, one of my favorite wrestlers as well. You know, a lot of rumors circulating that he could win as well. And um, bypass the U.S. title, go straight for the WWE title. And I am all cool with that. And then, of course, Roman Reigns. You know, that would be a very stupid thing. If they freaking let him win, even though we know he was going to main event already, that would really kill it. You know, um, don't let that be the way he earns his Universal Championship match. Let it be a SmackDown superstar to win the Rumble, and then uh, Roman Reigns can earn his shot somewhere else before WrestleMania. And then, of course, the other favorite, Shinsuke Nakamura. Everybody wants to see AJ versus Shinsuke at WrestleMania. I, for one, really do not want to see that. Um, I know that's crazy. I guess I'd like to see the match, but I'm not huge on Nakamura. So um, that is how I feel about that. He's great in the ring. I just don't really... I'm not a huge fan of his character and stuff. But, um, yeah. Anyways, who I think is going to win this thing? My top three picks would be Finn Balor, John Cena, or Dolph Ziggler. And who I think is going to walk out of this thing with the victory is my boy Dolph Ziggler right here. I think he's going to return with no music or anything like that. Come out during the Rumble, and I don't know how in God's name he's going to do it, but he's going to walk out with the win. Um, I know I said the same thing for Money in the Bank, but I always have high hopes. I always, you know, believe in Dolph Ziggler, and I think he's going to bring it home. So that is what I think about the Royal Rumble match, guys. Also, um, my unbiased opinion, if you want it, who I think is going to win from an unbiased perspective, um... I think Shinsuke is going to walk out of it, but I'm going to go with Dolph Ziggler to get it right here. Last year, I predicted Randy Orton would win, and I was correct, so maybe I will, uh, you know, two in a row here. So that is it for my Royal Rumble predictions, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like down below. Try to get this video to 300 likes if we can. Comment down below who you think is going to win the Rumble, and subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.